That's right. The family of Nilda Rivera told me they always had a strange feeling around their mother's boyfriend, but they never thought he was capable of murder. My mom was just looking for love. Love that 57-year-old former certified nurse's assistant Nilda Rivera invested in faith and family. She was a mother. She was a grandmother. She was a friend. We sat down with daughters Daniela and Jaitza, still processing their grief. Around the family kitchen table in New Britain. Everywhere you look, it's her. The color red, apples, homemade Spanish food, and happy memories of a recent birthday. She was so happy. We was all together. Happiness replaced now by confusion, anger. I hope that they do to him what he did to my mother. Ten times worse and, and suffer. he suffers slowly. Nilda Rivera stabbed 25 times in Hartford Sunday, allegedly by this man, Pedro Grajales, arraigned Monday, charged with her murder. He was like very jealous. He would look in her phone and delete stuff. Grajales and Rivera in an on again, off again relationship. They met on social media. He cried at me talking about he'll never hurt my mother. And, and that's did. exactly what he did. Grajales, according to arrest warrants, watched as she gasped for air before driving Nilda's body to Hartford police to confess his crime, telling officers he was planning to murder her for several days. I wake up every day just hoping it is a dream, a nightmare. Now, without a mom, trying to make sense of the senseless. Worst chapter of my life. And pick up the pieces of a broken heart. I love you forever and a day and always will. And Daniela and Jaitza told me they're planning a vigil for their mother right here at the Hartford Police Headquarters at Thursday at 6 p.m. They've also started a GoFundMe page to try and ease the burden of funeral expenses. You can find that link on our website, fox61.com. We're live at Hartford Police Headquarters. Matt Karen, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.